Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hello, this fine Monday morning. How is everyone doing? How was your weekend? We had some snow this weekend, and it was more than they expected. Uh, not inches and inches, but two or three inches. So that was very... Um, a drastic turn of events because we've had such beautiful fall weather many times we don't really get too many really good fall days but we did this year and some nice color with the leaves turning and all of that uh, lots of breezy warm days um, yeah it just turned off winter just like that <laughs> So anyway, um, I did get out here to sew a little bit this weekend, not as much as I like as usual. And I'm sure you can say the exact same thing about your weekend or your week that we have big intentions to get things done and we, we don't quite hit the mark always. Sometimes we do. But uh, I did some free motion quilting on the milk can um, bird song Pat Sloan fabric quilt and um, I made up a little design to put in those squares of those milk cans and it's just kind of a little triple L type of design that I would put on go down and then come back in over it and that seems to be working pretty good I'll show you on Friday when I get it completely done I still have my uh, free motion foot on here and everything and my thread. I'm not doing anything else until I get that done. <laughs> That's just the way it works around here. <laughs> so I'll have it uh, finished and bound and uh, completely done by Friday. I've only been promising it to you for about a month now, but it's it's going to happen this week. Unless, you know, some tragic event happens, heaven forbid, I should be able to get that done. <laughs> So, um, I've got some packages in. Uh, Saturday, I got three packages that came in. So, I think I'll open those with you. I know what they are, but I'll open those with you um, at the end of this video. Uh, I also wanted to uh, talk to you about designers, fabric designers. I, um, I love art gallery fabrics, and they have a a website artgalleryfabrics.com and it's a very well put together uh, website very well designed and artistically designed and easy to navigate so you should go there sometime um, something you may not know about a lot of the uh, fabric companies like Benertex, Wyndham Art Gallery Fabrics, all of those, you can usually go to their websites and they have a free pattern section. Uh, you can download uh, some free patterns, print them off, and they look just like they would if, if they were written in a book. So uh, there's a lot of um, inspiration there uh, to use up some of your fabrics that you have. Uh, maybe you don't know what to do with it. You don't know what kind of pattern to put it into. And just go to those places. Fat Quarter Shop has it. Missouri Star has it. But all of the individual uh, fabric companies uh, generally have a section for that too. Because they have people when lines come out that, you know, they work for them to, that make projects and make up patterns. So they want you to have those so you can you know, buy their fabric and, and make something with it and not just be left with fabric in your hands. So, uh, which a lot of us, you know, we do that. We buy fabric not knowing what we're going to do with it. But uh, usually if you get enough, you can, you know, get you one of those patterns and, and put something together with it and enjoy it instead of it just being in a drawer or on a shelf. But as I was looking around on Art Gallery Fabrics, I hadn't been on there for a while, but I ran a car across Pat Bravo and I'm kind of getting the idea that maybe she founded Art Gallery Fabrics. You guys can tell me if you know 
um, more than I do about it, which I'm sure a lot of you do because I've kind of been out of the loop on fabric companies and fabric lines over the last few years. You know, I've just been the, the one to just go to Joann's and grab something when I get in the mood to sew something, which wasn't all that often. So uh, I'm not real familiar with a lot of the designers. Uh, just since I've had this YouTube channel, I've gotten a little more educated on that and, you know, what kind of style each one has. And, and I've discovered that Pat Bravo is just right up my alley. I love her style. Um, she does a lot of boho, a lot of, um, you know, very colorful uh, fabric lines and pretty fabric lines. Uh, I just love them all. And usually with a fabric designer, you'll say, oh, you, I like their last fall collection, but I don't like anything they're coming out with this year. But I love everything she does. And so I started just kind of devouring her on the off of the internet to try to find out as much as I could about her. And uh, she has, a lot of you probably know already, but uh, she comes from Argentina and she spent most of her adult life here. And um, she has a YouTube channel, but she hasn't put anything on it for a few years. So um, the last video that she had was kind of a Q&A. What well, was a Q&A? And you can learn a lot about her there. But after that, she never put out any more YouTube videos, sadly. So I hope someday she co comes back around to that because I would like to have a, you know, that online relationship we get with YouTubers. So I think that would be great. And she also has some awesome uh, free patterns out there that are designed just for her fabric lines. And they are, they're fantastic. I just want to sew them all up. So, um, yeah, go out there and look at artgallerifabrics.com or patbravo.com and see what she has uh, out there that you may be interested in. Um, it, it's interesting her story as well. Uh, the fact that, you know, she started sewing when she was nine and uh, she uh, went to a sewing school when she was very young and uh, she did go to college for law and also for fine arts or something like that. But then she dropped out of that and went into painting and, um, you know, like fine art. So, um, you know, she just knew that that's what she needed to do with her life is to uh, go in that direction in that creative direction and uh, ended up in fabric design so um, yeah very nice lady uh, gonna be buying more of her fabric she does have a new line that's coming out soon called uh, hyper nature they don't have any pictures of it yet, but this is kind of like the basic look of it. Uh, she had one in earlier years that was Hyper Garden that was very pretty. So sometimes she comes back around like she she's done several indie ones and uh, she's done some, um, oh, Bohemian lines. Some of those, uh, artisan, just all kinds of different things. I just love them all. So uh, maybe each week on Monday I can kind of feature a, a designer on here and talk a little about that designer and, and um, you know, just, just share, share some uh, fabric knowledge with you and designer knowledge with you that, that I find online so we just have so much information available available to us these days with the internet so um i just really i love knowledge and learning more things about all kinds of different things <laughs> sometimes my mind is just kind of like a, a a ball of wires sparking all the time but uh unfortunately i don't have a really strong artistic ability but uh, I do have a lot of ideas always rolling around in my mind. So getting some knowledge from some of these designers and 
uh, their patterns that they create and things like that really does make it easy for us, doesn't it? So I thought I would share that with you this week. Um, Pat Bravo. So go look her up if you don't already know all about her and look at her fabric lines and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised if you like a lot of bold color. All right, so I've been working away on my little hexies. They're, they're down at the house. I only work on that in the evenings uh, when I'm winding down and I've got uh, about eight rows of 10 put together. So when I get 10 rows of 10, I'm gonna put that all together in a square. I might just get that done this week. Who knows, we'll see. It's a lot of little tedious sewing, but it's, it's fun, it's not hard. Uh, I've had to find me some cheater glasses, like I mentioned the other day, but uh, <laughs> that's working out better for me. So I can kind of move right along now without fumbling too much. Uh, I did order me some um, beeswax for the thread. I'm using a polyester. Uh, it's isocord thread. Uh, it seemed to be the strongest one that I had. So uh, it is very fine and slippery. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I ordered some beeswax. And I ordered a, a little bit bigger milliner's needle. I had a number nine sharp, I think it was, which is working fine but I'm gonna try a little bit bigger needle and see if that can help me move right along too. But uh, hexies, I think that uh, is something that I might continue to do little by little, not just with this project, it will be little by little, but uh, you know, when I have some fabric scraps left over from something or it has a little motif on it or something like that, I might just go ahead and make up some um, hexies with it and you know even if it's just one at a time once in a while uh, i'll have a a collection going on the side so uh could be a baby quilt or a child's i spy quilt or anything like that that you know i might think of doing with them later but uh it's another little little skill that um i've learned recently and uh, it's fun I, I really do like it you should try it Okay, so I asked you guys the other day if if you knew of any crow fabric. Uh, I had seen some crow fabric on So Yeah and uh, wished I had bought some and didn't. And I haven't seen it since on there. So I'm thinking it's getting sparser and sparser out there on the market. And I don't know why I couldn't find this, but uh, one of you found it for me. My friend Rhonda, she went to the retreat with me and she's a friend. Uh, she's on the Hexi group uh, that we have. And uh, yeah, I found it. Crows. Isn't that cute? I don't think I've showed you this. Yeah, they're right side up. They could be ravens, I'm not sure. I just got a yard. I don't know what I'll do with it, but you know, it's one of those things I just couldn't get off my mind and I didn't seem to be able to come. I don't know if I was not searching right or what, but there were actually a couple of stores on Etsy that had some. So they're, they're just really cute and look really, really close. See all that detail on there? Look at that one. It is back. It's got that leafy scrolly thing on there. That's just gorgeous. I don't know why I like crows other than they are the smartest bird. Most intelligent bird. If you if you do some research on that, you'll find out they're they're very amazing birds. Very amazing. To have a bird brain. <laughs> they are pretty intelligent. They can count. You can teach them to count. They're very um analytical and they can figure out puzzles and things like that. Uh how people find this stuff out, I don't know, but I don't know. I've always just been intrigued by crows ever since I found out they were so smart. It was amazing. And so we have uh, these packages that I could open for you. Not my fabric scissors. I have to go back to uh, the, the uh, quilt store this week and pick up my scissors that I took to get sharpened. They are in 
and she says you can come Saturday if you want and I'm like uh, no I'm not going to drive over there on Saturday but uh, I said can I come on Wednesday she says oh yeah because you know that's the buy one yard get one free day on the clearance so I'll just wait and go on on Wednesday and pick up my scissors and maybe run across something else I need uh, this is our Nantucket designer of the month I'll have to do that this week looks easy pretty easy yeah flip and sew flip and stitch uh, we've got some um, strip sets and a ribbon star so yeah I'll get that done this week easy I was kind of missing these they were coming pretty quick there and you know kind of catching up on the block of the month and now I think they're on they're on schedule so I was missing that and then this is something that I got at the retreat but somehow I didn't wind up getting it home with me and I just discovered it the other day I had forgotten that I bought this book Of course they always put everything in two bags which is good so nothing gets ruined I have to open this too nicely packaged very nicely packaged It's crazy that I didn't remember that I had bought this until I ran across my receipt. I was putting some, re you know, things away from the trip. And I had a pile of receipts. One Block Wonder. Do y'all have this book? I'm going to have to do this. They had one down there uh, at the Soya Quilting Shop uh, on the wall that was just exquisite. I liked it. Here's one. Not going to show you the whole book, but that's the idea of it. You take fabric and you you um, you make these um, octagons with it octagons no hexagons really by taking pieces of fabric and it's the same print but you just move it around kind of like kaleidoscope so this is kind of like a little how-to book on it yeah this will be good I'm gonna spend some time looking at that and that's that. Let me get this out of the way. And I got a big one. I do know what's in this. What's in this bag has to do with this. You know what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get this open in a timely manner without cutting into the fabric. I'm going to be extra careful with this. Sorry for all the crinkly stuff. Okay, so this is a 108. Ooh, and it feels so good. This is the new Tula Pink Moon Garden. Yeah. But that's not all. Lord have mercy. It's packed in there. I 
I've got one yard all, you guys. One yard all. Yes, I did. There she is. That, my friends, will become this. Yes. And I'll have a bunch left over. So, I thought about using some of this um, 108 for a... Is it a 108? Yeah, it is. For the lining. And I might still... But there would be a lot of waste, but not like it's not like I wouldn't use it. That was my initial idea is to, to line the coat with that. Because I need three and a half yards. It's about half of it. I don't know. So, do you want to see each one? Or do you want to just see a... Do you just want to see a little bit? Oh, let's just look at them. You know you want to see it. Birds. More birds. This reminds me of the Figo fabric that I've been using on the vintage. Mystery? Some of it. I think this is the one with the snake. The snake. Here. Yeah, let's look at the snake. Check out that snake. That's the prettiest snake I've ever seen. I would never ever have bought fabric with a snake on it if it wasn't that pretty. It's so pretty. Love it. I'm not a huge Tula fan. I really am not. But I just really like this line. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm not getting that one folded right. There's another one. Ooh, look at this. It's kind of got a purpley plum background to it. That has the snake on it, too. Look. So pretty. So pretty. This has all the colors of the dots. I don't know if you can see it. The dots. Yeah, that didn't come across. But there's bright dots on there. Another one of those. You can kind of see them. There's a pink one, like the backing. Or the 108. A purple one. And then there's these. And there's a yellow, green, corally one. And here's the this one is the this has got an animal on it too i think nope it doesn't it's just flowers i think it goes this way oh it's a butterfly i see it now <laughs> hold on see that long body it looks like two, four, six, eight little drops. And then it's got a purple and a teal wing. Didn't notice that before. It's a butterfly. Here's another butterfly one. See the butterfly is kind of orange and pink. Just gorgeous. Okay, here's the owl. This is the owl on the, uh, like, maybe like a medium coral. Look at that. Gorgeous. Here's a purple one. Same thing. 
There they are. Now here's a floral. Has bees on it. Has some little purple bees on it. I'll show you. Hopefully you can see the bee right there. Great big purple flower. And it's on a teal background. Same thing on a yellowish green background. And then we have some of these. This is a it's not a ombre. And then there's a gray and coral. A white with the yellowish green. And a black or a charcoal with a bright pink. That's it. So I should be able to, on this, you make uh, your fabric first, and I think I mentioned that. And then um, I believe there's six by six inch squares that you put together to come up with your design on it. And then you put it together. So with these fabrics, I'll be able to, you know, cut out a big flower or an owl or a butterfly. Um, what else do we have? The snake. Yeah. All of that. So I am in my glory right now with this. <laughs> I think that probably, look at this too. I mean, a square of that on there, anywhere on there is going to be so sharp. I just love it. Just love it. So yeah, anyway, um, I'll have plenty left of this to make a whole nother project, a whole nother quilt for sure. Um, this isn't going to take that much of these. The patchwork is one yard each of eight coordinating prints, but I'm thinking that, you know, you're not going to use a, you're not going to use eight yards. A fabric total. You have tons of leftover. Anyway, I haven't delved into this just yet as far as how it's all going to go together. So anyway, this video has gone on a long time with all of the excitement. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else I have to tell you. I'm just going to keep trudging along on my free motion quilting on this quilt and keep working on my hexes and I'll have Hometown Charms on Wednesday. I will have Vintage Mystery on Wednesday. It's going to be block number 11. So we're only missing two blocks. The same thing with the Hometown Charms. I'm only missing two. So we're going to have two quilt tops done here pretty quick. And then I'll have to get myself out another, another quilt to start quilting again. So I still have uh, totally tulips. I still have green beans, string beans. I still have the bee quilt and I have my windmill garden quilt. I think that's it. I think that's it for quilting. But then I'll have two new quilt tops right off the bat too. So anyway, much fun things to do. And I hope you have a lot of fun things to do, too. And please get something out and sew uh, a little bit each day. Uh, if you have a day off, give it a good go and give it, give it a couple hours. But uh, anyway, every day you can do something. Even organize your sewing room a little bit. Organize one bin. Put all your solids in one place. Sweep the floor. So there's always something to do. <laughs> and it's fun. It's all fun. So, uh, it's great chatting with you. Thanks for coming by to chat with me. And I hope you guys are going to have a great week. And I will see you during the week on my mini projects, at least on Wednesday. I'll have a 
I'll have a vintage mystery block and then on Friday we'll be right back around here again to share our finished projects they are already coming in. All right, have a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye.